today. I'm here to get my man back. Then why did you let the sexy girl move in? I opened my heart to you. I opened my house. Are you that stupid? At least Michael is sensitive about the situation. You sit there and tell me you love me. To get what I want. Plus... I get butterflies when I'm around him. Will Stephanie's sister share in her joy? Every time he's with you, he's thinking about me, okay? Uh-oh, cue the nightmare. When we ran into each other six months ago, we slept together. the show. My guests today say the ex is factoring into their relationships far too often. Please welcome Cassie to the show. She says she wants her ex back. Cassie, what's going on? I'm here to get my man back. Uh, now, how long have you been with him? Six months. And uh, you really love him? Yes. Uh, was it love at first sight? It was. It was. And he felt the same way about you? Yes. So why is he an ex? I worked at the Pony and and I went into work one day, and there was this girl there. She, we became friends. We started talking, and she told me that she didn't have a place to live. Right. And I was nice enough. I opened my heart up to this girl and let her move in. And she moved into my house. She was there about a week. Me and Michael get in a huge fight. He kicks me out and keeps her there. Oh. Did you take your pony? <laughs> no, oh, that's where you work. Okay. So, uh, now what has gone on since? Well, I didn't, we didn't talk for a week after we split up. Yeah. And then he started texting me on October 14th and telling me that he still loved me and that he... Oh, so he's, oh, he's telling you that he still loves you? Yes. Has he said, come on back, let's live together? Well, he can't necessarily move and I won't go back to that town. But whenever he gets it okay and everything, he's moving up. Okay, so he says he wants to be with you and yes. he's sorry about the fight. Okay. Now, why are you here? Well, I was at work one day. Yep. I worked at KFC and I was there and she- Well, what's the pony? Why don't I know what the pony is? That was my second job. It was a strip club. Oh! oh. That's even better than KFC. <laughs> well, either one is finger looking good. I think. <laughs> I have that is stupid. I... All right. So you're okay. So one day you're working at KFC. Yeah. I was getting ready to come into work, and yeah. she was getting food, and I asked. I just stopped and talked to her and asked her, I was like, hey, how's Michael doing? She's like, oh, he's good. I was like, well, I got a question for you. Is he sleeping around? And she was like, yeah, we've had sex. So you were just asking her for, to tell you whether he was sleeping around, and she says, yes, in fact, he's sleeping with me. Yes. Oh. Were you surprised at that? Not or really. Or did you kind of think, yeah, she I what? Well, she's a hoe, so. Oh. <laughs> there are hoes at the pony? <laughs> well, sure, you ever ride on a pony, you go, ho! Oh, <laughs> um, basically, you want her out of the picture because you want to be back with I want with to know Michael. the truth. You want to know the truth. Well, what, 
Oh, I, what he really thinks. Yes. Because he's, t okay, just so I get this straightened out. He's texting you that he loves you. At the same time, he seems to be sleeping with her, is what you're saying. Yes. Unless maybe she's just telling you that and he's... Well, uh, I don't talk to her. I have no reason to talk to her. I can't stand her. Yeah. So you dance at different times at the club? Well, I actually quit working there to prevent drama. Oh, oh. So. Okay, so you're not at the pony anymore. No. Well, <laughs> I'm not going to the pony. <laughs> All right. I'm actually a stay-at-home mom now with oh, my you're daughter. Oh, a wonderful. Okay. Um, okay, Michaela is this other woman. Yes. Here she is. Here's Michaela. First off, I was never your friend. Second off, you talk about Michael all the time. You guys weren't happy. You said you weren't happy. Okay. So for, no, for one, I never said that. Never. You guys I, didn't fight all the time. We did fight every all the time, day. but never once did I tell you I wasn't happy with him. Michaela, you came, I came to the you. club saying that you were not happy all no. the time. I came to you with our problems. Did I not come to you with our problems? Because you have stories. Did I not tell you? You asked me. I don't have a place to go. Can I come live with you? And I talked to Michael, and he and you said, didn't realize yeah. the whole time that I was staying there that we were. Are you that stupid? I guess so. Because guess what? You're supposed to be a friend. But I guess I was wrong. I'm sorry for opening up my heart to you. He's sitting on the couch next to you, texting me, can't wait for you to leave so me and him can have sex again. And you are seriously that stupid that you've never realized it. Okay, honey. If he don't, if he don't love me. No, wait a minute, wait a minute. If he don't love me, last night when you guys got in your fight around midnight, why did he walk 45 minutes to my hotel room? Um, yes. He was never gone 45 minutes, and the one texting you was me. Okay, ask him. He came to my hotel room, and we slept together. We had sex and slept until 5 o'clock in the morning, Nick. Last night? Last night. Getting ready for our show? Yep. <laughs> the night we made the alcohol to this girl and let her move out. Me and Michael get in a huge fight. He kicks me out and keeps her there. Oh. You guys I, did fight all the time. We did fight all the time, day. but never once did I tell you I wasn't happy with him. You I came, came to the you. club saying that you were not happy all no. the time. I came to you with our problems, but I guess I was wrong. I'm sorry for opening up my heart to you. And you didn't realize the whole time that I was staying there that we were Are you that stupid? I guess so. When you guys got in your fight, he walked 45 minutes to my hotel room. Let's bring out Michael. Where were you last night? I was at your motel last night. Well, you're playing both of them, aren't you? No, me and uh, Michaela had happened to got in a little fight last night. I left. I went to catch his motel. Well, do you text her and tell her you love her? Uh, when I need something, yes, I do. Do you feel a little honestly? Don't you feel a little bit bad? Why? Why are you playing her like that? Uh, Jerry, if you knew the story behind this girl and my relationship, I think anybody would do the same thing. This, look, this. What is it? It started off whenever me and her got together, it was one way. She told me she was this, told me she was that. And after about a month, 
started slowly changing. Like she become to the point to where she was completely controlling, over jealous, and it wasn't even of other women. She was jealous of like my friends, all my guys, and so we'd go out, we used to play poker, things like that. She would come over, you know, with us. It got to the point where she didn't want me to go do nothing, this and that. And then, and then after about a month we, or a month before we split, she got my initials on her. She only known me a few months at this point. Why and would you get anybody's name tattooed on you when you've been with them for four months? Because I love him. <laughs> In four months? One more secret that you might love to hear about. You remember the night we made the alcohol run? It was no alcohol run. We went don't know why you want to be with him. Because I love him with all my heart. Wow, oh, look how he treats you. <laughs> that why, was why my would, life. You, well, at your age, no one's your life, okay? At your age, no one's your life. You have strong feelings about him. But if he's going to treat you like that and she's going to be like that, why do you want to be around him? I don't want to be around her. I want to be with him. <laughs> but doesn't he have to love you back to make that work? He says he loves me all the freaking time. He does. <laughs> I'll tell you night. what I want to do. I, I, I'm going to ask, I'm going to have her leave just for a few moments. I want to bring you back out there. I want you just to talk to him. Okay, you come with me. Let's get, keep her. Keep going? Okay. All right. Yeah, I just want you two to talk, because, look, if you don't love her, you don't love her. I'm not trying to talk you into anything. But it really seemed awfully cold the way she was just treated, even by your current girlfriend, if that's your current girlfriend. Well, the point of it is, I sit there and I told you multiple times you were pushing me away. You, you, you know, you were mistreating me. I told you I would not handle the controlliness. I wouldn't handle the over jealousness. I wouldn't handle, I'm not the type that's all touchy clingy, have to be up under my shoulder 24 seven. And that's exactly what you were. Uh, I, I, I told you I could not handle it. I told you were pushing me away. All these different things. I okay. told you I did not love you. And you kept coming back. You kept annoying me. You kept acting naive. You, you, you're so naive, so gullible. It's annoying. You're pathetic, Cassie. You are pathetic. <laughs> But you're feeding. Let's assume she's clingy, okay? I'm willing to give you that. But I if am you clingy. know that, if you know that, why do you keep egging it on by texting oh. her that way when she comes over, going 45 minutes to her place so you could have sex with her? In other words, you're inviting this bad mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And you did. In fairness, you did sleep with her last night, yeah. right? Right, I did. Michael, I don't understand this, okay? For one, you sit there and tell me you love me and blah, 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 and... To get what I want, do you not understand that? I am playing your naive ass. Do you not get that? <laughs> okay, but I tell you what, I'm gonna bring the other girl out and you two aren't gonna fight, okay? So don't worry about that, but I want... Oh, let's bring her back out. <laughs> Fight, left so you somebody else. Yep. That's exactly what I've done. <laughs> You're Thank you. I wear that crown right here. Okay. Okay. I know you're upset, but in fairness, you're being treated now the same way he treated her, so you can't be surprised. Okay, you're both being fed. Okay. At, at some point, you gotta take his word, he's not loving you. And he, he's not loving anyone right now. I'm not saying who you have to love, that's your business. How you treat them, you can do better than that. And you can do better than him right now. Yeah. Maybe that. Yeah. <laughs> We ran into each other six months ago, we slept together.
within that first week. We've also slept together since you guys have been dating within the first week. <laughs> My guests today say they are torn between the past and the present. Please welcome Stephanie to the show. She says she's in love with her sister's ex. Stephanie, what's going on? I'm in love, Jerry. Aww. I feel like it's high school all over again. He well, makes great. me smile to the point where my cheeks hurt. Yeah. I get butterflies in my stomach when I'm around him. Now, how did you meet him? He used to hang out with my sister. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, they dated a about eight years ago. Oh, so a long time ago. Yeah, it's, it's so in the past. Oh, okay. So many years ago, he, this guy dated your sister. Yes. Then what? They broke up, he left town, she left town, what happened? It was too serious, she wasn't ready for it, it was okay, over. Okay, so he left. Okay, now. She dumped him. She dumped him. She dumped him. Now what happened? He comes back to town? Yes, and we started hanging out, and we've really been getting close. How long have you been seeing him now? A little over a month. Oh, oh, a little over a month. Yeah. And it's love in one month? I can't put a time limit on how I feel. Okay. All right. <laughs> so you just have strong feelings. Right? Yes. Good. Now, uh, does your, did you talk to your sister about him? Because they did date him. Yes. Before time. we even got serious at all, I went to her because I didn't want it to mess our relationship. Sure. Up. And she was fine with it. Oh, you, so you asked her, is it okay yeah. if I now see him? And she said... She said it was fine. She understood. She knows that I've been hurt and that it's my turn to be happy. Okay. All right. So now you start going out with him. So why are you here? What's the problem? I want to know if she really still cares about him. If oh, she so loves even him. though she said, I'm okay with it, you now have reason to believe that, oh, maybe... Yeah, I don't know if she's lying to herself or just to me. Oh. I think there's something there. And what makes you think that? The way she looks at him and just the way I feel when we're together around her. What if she comes out and says, ah, I do care about him. Now what are you gonna do? Cause you, you really, you got butterflies. Yeah, I, I've, yeah I've fallen and I fell hard. I did, yeah. I fell hard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you okay? Yeah, good. Uh, I, I'm great, I'm great. I just wanna know the truth. Okay, well that's fair. Let's bring her out. Here is your sister, Jenny. care about him. Are you kidding me? He was like my first real love and you had no right to him in the first place. Dude, we, we, the first six months, when we ran into each other six months ago, we slept together within that first week. Oh. Within that first week. And in fact, we've also slept together since you guys have been dating within the first week. Oh. Are you kidding me? He came running, okay? The second I did anything, he was right there. Within the first week that we saw Why each other, we slept together. Why is he with me? That must Are be you kidding me? Okay, let He's me with ask you. this question. In fairness, let me ask this question. She says, she says, oh, I don't want to be around this. Whoops. <laughs> okay. Okay, hold on to the water. I'm wearing a good suit. Okay, here's, here's the question. She said that when he came back to town, she came to you and said, look, I know you used to date him years ago, uh, but now I'm interested in going out with him. Is that okay with you? And she says you said it was okay. Did you say it was okay? I did say it was okay, but I mean, of course I said it was okay. I mean, it's not like... Well, if you, if, I, if you didn't feel scared. it, you should have told I was scared. I was scared, okay? I was scared that what would happen when we were kids would happen again. 
I, I was scared that it would get too serious and I'd run, but I still really care about him. And she doesn't have the right to take that from me. She's been with him a month. That was in the past, you left a him. Month. So, you left obviously he still wants me because he's gotten me twice. Where were you? You would do it twice. Because I if was, it was drunk a and it was a mistake. You were drunk, you stupid. I want you. It was a mistake. Kidding me? I'm in love, Jerry. Oh. I get butterflies in my stomach when I'm around him. Now, how did you meet him? He used to hang out with my sister. Oh, I see where this is going. Yeah, they dated. I want to know if she really still cares about him. Oh. I think there's something there. And what makes you think that? The way she looks at him and just the way I feel when we're together around her. You had no right to him in the first place. We slept together. Oh! Bring him out, here's Ronnie. Okay, just know that. Well, what Every time you walk that? in the room. Well, wait, 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 Sorry. wait a second. Okay, because here's what's happening. No one's. Be okay, she said she did ask you, and you originally said yes. So you can't blame her if she came to you and asked, and now she's with him. You said you want to be with her. Is that right? I do want to be. But with you her. did have sex with her. I did. Did you? You now say it was a mistake. Did you start it or did she? I mean, how did it wind up that you slept together? She started it. I oh. mean, we got, we got together. Okay, so she admits that. All right, so she came on to you and you did it, but you're now saying it's a mistake that you really want to be with her. Yes. Is that what you say? Okay. Yes. So what do you want to say to him? Okay. I, I know that I started it, but I also know that if there wasn't anything there, you wouldn't have been able to do it, okay? You, we were so in love back, back whenever we dated before, and I know that I ran because I was scared, but I'm not scared anymore, and it's not right for you to be with my sister for a month and suddenly decide you're in love and throw away everything that we could have had. It's not fair. There was emotions back then, but they're, they're gone. still there. You couldn't have done that. They're gone. Now. Twice? Twice? Really? Come on. Who are you trying to fool yourself? Not fooling anybody. Seriously, think I want about to be it. With your every time I walk in the room, every time I walk in the room, you look right at me. Every time we hang out, you look at me. We, we still have so much in common. We laugh together. That's just, I just that's eye contact. When you talk to someone, you're supposed to look at them. Really? Are you going to say that? Are you going to say that? Are you freaking serious? The only reason I can't look at him right now is because all I can think about is the fact that he's stupid enough to be around you. You need to get over because we're moving in together. Okay, see so how long that lasts. Your, how long have your last two conquests lasted? He'll last a month. Maybe. It, it, it's hard to see which... I understand you're upset because you have feelings for him. But in fairness, I don't know what she's done that is wrong. She's done everything that uh, normally a sister would do. First, go to you because you're the sister. I don't want to do anything if it's going to upset you. She <clears> gets the okay there. Then she asks you before having sex even, are you sure you're over? So she's done everything you can ask a person to do. Hold on, honestly, honestly, hold on. Okay. Hold on. 
whenever we first started hanging out again about six months ago, yeah. I told Stephanie that I still cared about him and that I thought there might be a chance between us. Oh, well, I, I told okay. her that when we first started talking. Is that true? Yeah, you so were talking really to this loser of a boyfriend that you've been talking to for how long now? I didn't know. Seriously, you have really? no room to talk on that. Are you kidding me? No, none whatsoever. We've all made mistakes, and I've made a million of them. But you don't have a right to take the one thing that was mine away because it was mine, not yours. Uh, okay. You've had it for a month. You won't have it. Trust me. Trust me. You won't. I've always, always liked him. You know that. You know how I felt about since him. Since when? A month ago? No, since years ago. When, when you did you serious? ever talk to him? Do you even know his mom? Have you visited his family? Do you know his favorite color, okay. his birthday, anything? No, you don't love him. You don't even know him. I'd go with blue. Uh, am I right? Yes. I'm not dating you, all right? <laughs> it is blue. Uh, talk to her. Talk to her. Did you lie when you said you love me? Do you love me? I really? do love you. I'm you sorry. It was a mistake. I feel awful about it. I can't change it. I wish I could change it. But I can't. So you could have changed it by not doing say, it twice. So you're saying if you could go That's back, you could have changed it. You're saying if you could do it over again, you, you wouldn't be with her? I wouldn't have done it in the first place. Okay, really? So you wouldn't have done it the first time. So why'd you do it the second time? If you wouldn't have done it. Seriously, look at me in the eye and tell me why you would do it twice. I if was it was drunk a mistake. And it was a mistake. You were drunk, you stupid <laughs> Okay, he's saying he wants to be with you, so now I have to ask you, can you forgive him? I think I could, if you we'll don't. We'll be back. You asked me out for drinks. You was the one supposed to be faithful, not me. So, not you me. knew I was married. I was just made it for fun. Boy, you, you didn't get enough in jail? Nothing. Oh. You are the fire. Get off my stage. Welcome back. My guests today say their exes are still trying to get back into the equation. Please welcome Brian to the show. He says he's not sure why he's here. Brian, what is going on? Well, Jerry, first I want to say uh, I'm a huge fan. Well, thank and, you. Uh, thank you. And when I was in, uh, when I was in Iraq, uh, me and a lot of the soldiers... Oh, uh, you were in the, uh, the army, army, is it? Mm -hmm. army. Well, thank you. Yeah. There you go. Yep. But yeah, a lot, of, a lot of times when we didn't have uh, anything to do or watch whatever, we, we've most definitely discussed your show, so. well, Jerry Springer's show. So that must be very comforting to the nation. Yeah. <laughs> Keep, keeps us pumped up. Maybe this war could have been over a little bit quicker if you had <laughs> stopped watching the show. But no, go ahead. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, my wife, uh, uh, she's a stay-at-home mom, and I, uh, I'm an auto mechanic. Uh, I work really hard just all the time, work real hard to support my wife and the kids. And, yep. Um, you know, here lately, uh, it just feels like me and my wife have been disconnected, you Ooh. know, and uh, anytime I bring it up to her, uh, you know, anytime she feels upset, you know, I'll ask her about it and stuff, but it just seems like it upsets her even more. You know, and I just really like to know, you know, what did I do, you know, what, what can I do to fix it, you know? It's, yeah, because you are a mechanic, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh. <laughs> Okay, well, why don't we, uh, well, I, I don't know, let's bring her out and, and maybe she can say, here is your lovely wife, Brandy. Love you. You don't look happy. I came here today to tell you that I haven't been happy for some time. I started talking to my ex, calling him, and everything. What, which ex is this? Bruce. <laughs> when was this? Not, not that long ago. 
Um, what did you do on this? Well, we uh, met up at Walmart. <laughs> when your kid, the kids were at your mom's house. And uh, he asked me to go out and have a drink. So we went out and had a drink. And I had sex with him. Oh. And just, just sex? You know. <laughs> I just had sex with him, but I, I think he still has feelings for me. I mean, did, did you ever think about the, about the kids whenever you did this? It, it was mean, spur of the moment, baby. I thought you, you wanted them to have the father in their life and everything, and that's, I mean, what are, why, why would you even want to go out and have, you know, do something like this? That's just... I'm lonely. I needed attention. I'm at home all the time with the kids, alone. Well, you know, I mean, I would, I would be there more often to give you attention if, uh, if I didn't have to work all the time. You know, I, I give you everything I possibly can. I, I bought you a house. I bought you a car. I gave you three beautiful children. And I wouldn't have to work so much if, if you wouldn't spend so much money. Because, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I work my fingers to the bones, you know, uh, to support your, your Craigslist habit. You know, and I would, I would rather spend that money on you. You know, I, I wish I could stop working so much so I could take you out on dates and everything. You know, I mean. I'm sorry. I mean, he was giving me the attention that I needed. Well, let's meet him. Here's Bruce. <laughs> man, you're a pathetic loser. You're pathetic, man. That's it. I, man, I just. I don't want no relationship, man. I just you just with her. You oh, just, you don't want a relationship with her? No. You don't want a relationship no. with me? Really? What are you thinking? Yeah, no. Really? I, don't, I, don't, I wasn't in it for really? a relationship. I was in it just Really? Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's not what you said two weeks ago. <sighs> That's what I'm saying now. That's not now. what you said two weeks ago. That's what I'm saying now. <laughs> That's what I'm saying now. That's not what you said two weeks ago. It's man. I was just in it for fun. Well, you, you didn't get enough in jail? <laughs> nothing. <laughs> What do you want to say to him? I'm sorry. Oh, what? Well. I'm sorry, baby. I really am. I'm really sorry. I swear. I swear I'll be better. Are you going to take me back, babe? It just feels like me and my wife have been disconnected. You know, I just really like to know what can I do to fix it, you know? Yeah. Because you are a mechanic, yeah. Yeah. Uh. I started talking to my ex, and I had sex with him. Yeah, I needed attention. I'm at home all the time with the kids. Alone. I wouldn't have to work so much if, if you wouldn't spend so much money. Uh. You don't want a relationship with me? Really? What are you thinking? Yeah, no. Really? I, I, I wasn't in it for really. Real. I was in it just. I was just in it for fun. Well, you, you didn't get enough in jail. <laughs> why did you, in fairness, why did you hook up with her if you have no interest in her? Make up lost time while I was in prison. Why, why would you ruin my family if you didn't feel for me? You hit me up on Facebook. <laughs> you sweet talked to me. You hit me up. You sweet talked to me. You was married. You asked me out for drinks. You was the one supposed to be faithful, not me. So? Not you me. knew I was married. You knew I was married. Why did you why did you look him up on Facebook and pursue it? Because we used to have a relationship together. And you were I wanted to be friends and I needed someone to talk to. I was lonely. Okay. But were you thinking at the time that it may be more than just a friend to talk to? Not really. Maybe a little bit. But you felt a little bit vulnerable and then you figured here's someone. That's all it was, Jerry. You just a used up jailhouse. Oh. Hey, come on, man. Come on. Loser. You just a loser, man. Come on. Why are you standing right. over there? Thought. Okay. What do you want to say to him? I'm sorry. Oh well. <laughs> You know, I'm, 
if you guys can work it out, great, okay? I have no interest in this and trying to make this not work. But if he had come out and said, I really would like to be with you, it was great, I felt the old feelings again, it seemed to just us looking at it that you were ready to go there. So the question that he would want to know, I assume, is are you just going back to him now because you were rejected by him, or are you going back to him because in thinking it over, he's really like to be there? I was, I was going to cut him off. I was going to cut him off. I was going to quit talking to him. It, it just happened one time. That was it. One time. Are you going to take me back, babe? And what, what do I need to do to make you more happy? Oh. Spend more time with me. Help me do that. I'll help you do that, I promise. I love you. Love I do. You. Yeah, I got a comment to the guy who's in the army. Um, you want to know how to make your wife happier? Take her to an all-you-can-eat buffet. She'll be real happy. I got a comment for the guy from Iraq. Uh, what was harder to move around? A tank or your wife's fat ass? From one veteran to another, thank you for your service. Yeah. But when the president announced that he just pulled out of Iraq, you should have pulled out. This one's for the guy that slept with the two sisters. Dude, I wouldn't even have slept with her with my plastic one. My comments for the gentleman in the blue. You really can't think your wife's gonna be faithful to you when she was eyeing my brother the whole time. Oh! She admitted it. She just admitted it. You was eyeing my brother. Go ahead, tell him. You just said your ass. I have waited a long time for this. No comment. Two people in my life, Kirk Douglas and you, are on to me. I got a kiss and a hook from Kirk Douglas. Do I get it from you? Me and my girlfriend want our Jerry beat. Yeah, this question uh, comments for the guy who's dating the two sisters. No matter which way you turn, you can't go wrong. You got heat in the winter and shade in the summer. <laughs> For the girl in the black, don't keep crying, girl. He ain't worth it. You've been crying to this whole show. Stop crying for him. <laughs> nice to meet you. Our producers have decided that you will take us into the break. We'll be right back with Jerry's final thought. <laughs> I'd like to take this opportunity to thank you all for being on the show and good luck in the decisions that you make. I, I hope you can find some happiness for all of you. You know, trying to win an ex back may be a futile gesture at best. That's not to say that you haven't been wrong and that the person he's now with is anything other than less than an admirable character, but you've got to be honest with yourself. What was the circumstance that led to the breakup in the first place? And has anything really changed? I mean, even if you got him back, wouldn't he eventually be gone again, either because of his wandering eye or because you got sick of him? The truth is, when we fight to win back an ex, more often than not, it's either because we're lonely for the moment or our ego can't stand the idea that he went for someone else. The point is, in either case, you deserve someone who, by his own volition, wants to be with you and only you and doesn't need to be convinced. Till next time, take care of yourself and each other.
If you think that was wild and crazy, then click here to keep watching. And don't forget to subscribe. All you have to do is click here. And one more thing, take care of yourself and each other.